Ooh, well, the spoiler game seems to have gotten rather nasty because Marvel Studios has broken out the super lawyers. Let's talk about the latest report about the Ant-Man 3 plot leak and what Marvel Studios is doing about it. Well, as many of you know, we like to report leaks and stuff on this channel, but we always reference where we found them. Notice we don't actually leak the information ourselves, and there's a pretty good reason for it. That can get rather litigious, and it looks like Marvel Studios has finally decided to take it to the mat and crack down on internet leaks. Now, as many of you know, Kevin Feige and the rest of Marvel Studios have always had a pretty strict policy when it comes to spoilers for their projects. But over the last couple of years, we found a lot of spoilers for Marvel movies have shown up over on Reddit, specifically the Marvel Studios Spoiler subreddit. Now, many of you are or were part of this subreddit, and it's hard to deny that often many of these leaks turned out to be true, much to the chagrin of Marvel Studios. Now we are hearing that Marvel and Disney have filed legal documents seeking a subpoena in an attempt to identify the person who leaked one of their scripts over on Reddit, and this would be Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania. As many of you may have noticed, several months ago, we literally got a full plot breakdown for the movie. And quite honestly, it was spot on. Leading to what I have to believe was a lot of behind the scenes aggravation at both the Marvel Studios and Disney offices. Now, Disney actually filed a copyright takedown on a leak earlier this month after a 63 page document was actually shared on that forum, which was entitled Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania Detailed Dialogue. Now, since then, the thread has been deleted. Actually, the whole thing has been locked down, but it was archived to Google Documents, and it is still available. Now, Reddit has replied and said that they are committed to protecting their users' privacy, and that they have a rigorous process in place to assess legal requests and object when it's appropriate. Now, what they do here, we'll have to wait and see, but it's clear Marvel Studios is taking decisive legal action against some leakers. Now, this is sort of a shame because that subreddit was hugely popular. And if you're a fan of YouTube, you know a lot of videos got sourced back to that page. Now, how often they were right is up in the air, but honestly, when they hit home runs, they were out of the park and clearly coming from somebody inside of Marvel Studios. I believe this is ultimately the goal of Disney, is to reveal who the leaker was so that they can take not only action against potentially Reddit, but specifically the person who leaked the material. Honestly, many of us do kind of like spoilers and like getting the early information, but I do believe this can take away from the film themselves and lead to potentially even lower box office results. Now, Disney and Marvel have always found this really important, and Kevin Feige hates spoilers, so I have to think this is going to be really important to Disney, and they are going to pursue it as long as they can. Ever since the internet was founded, one thing that has been an ongoing joke are the lawyers that Disney employs, going way back to people creating their own websites with Disney IP, all the way to now, Disney has never been afraid to be very, very litigious in protecting their assets, and I do believe some of these leakers, specifically the ones that may be contractually obligated to Disney or Marvel, might find themselves in very, very serious legal trouble. But we'll have to wait and see.